The dance again. I'm wearing my favorite on camera. I'm going to mess with my hair shirt. But I don't really need it, to be honest with you. Because here's the big reveal. <gasps> that looks so good for my hair. I braided this the other day. So this is day two. This is crazy incredible. I survived and the wig cap stayed on. So this is what I'm going to do. Actually, I need this shirt on just in case the oil drips. It doesn't get on the clothes I'm going to wear for today. So I always do my hair before I get dressed. Rare occasions if I do my hair after I'm dressed. Okay. So I'm just going to redo the bun part so it looks neat. I have my Donna's recipe. You can see Donna's recipe. We're going to put it here on the hairline. And I'm going to drizzle uh, the Donna's recipe in the, all the parts. And I think that this process is going to give me better results than my normal routine, which I don't typically braid my hair because I still have the same opinion. I don't really have good hair for braiding. It's just not full enough. Um, my hair is too soft and kind of thin. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, my hair can fluff up. But being loose and fluffy is not the same thing as having the, the density to have like nice thick braids. I know a lot of people are adding hair in. I never have done that. Um, in my photo shoot, if you see me with um, obvious hair, uh, hair that isn't mine, it is not installed. It's a wig. Like I've done wigs. And I had one, like a ponytail type hair piece. But I've just never, I know a lot of people will glue and sew and all that kind of stuff. I've never done any of that. And I'm sure that my hair is better for it because I'm sure it would have just ripped my hair to clean out. Okay, so... Um, I put my oil on first so that I I don't have to deal with too much shrink. I put the lotion on next. And then I'm going to put the moisturizer on last. So I basically have like a pre-coating on my hair so that the moisturizer doesn't over-moisturize my hair. My hair is very porous. So with high porosity, my hair takes in everything pretty easily and the problem is it taking in too much and then just being too I don't know too spongy and too um, shrunken <laughs> I guess that's the only way I can describe it. All right, so this is what we have. I'm putting it right back the way it was. And this is not taking a long time. So having your hair braided, in my case, has not um, prevented me from needing to do anything. I did not comb and brush through the hair but I still needed to get in and um, manage the braids 
and get all the wispies reorganized so my hair doesn't look fuzzy like I've been rolling around in the covers which I have <laughs> with the wig cap on but I don't want to go out looking like it okay so the friction from sleeping with the wig cap on was less then if I did not have the wig cap on however a lot of um, loose hairs were still disturbed so I'm just trying to reorganize those hairs and kind of clean up the part you see the part is not fuzzy now it's more of a part so it looks neat that's what's important is to keep that neat appearance and the back I like having this style because it really gave me access all the way down to my scalp for the bird's nest that's what I call it because that's what it's like all my hair is not the same my bird's nest is a patch of hair that doesn't grow in the same direction as the rest of my hair and so it's always disorganized because when I'm styling my hair it's always against the grain of that patch because obviously the front is going to get the most attention because that's the most visible and I don't style my hair based on the patch of bird's nest so I really want to, I'm glad I took that down because it's dry in here. This bird's nest is just, I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I mean, what hairstyle allows me to go in opposite directions? Because <laughs> that's basically what would need to happen with that section. Okay, I put it, Donna's recipe on it and I'm going to make sure that I close it. I've used almost the entire bottle in one week so that's a pretty um, expensive treatment you know to get through a month I would need four bottles and it goes back to the porosity of my hair I like that um, I have a variety of braids in here so if I want it to um, refresh a section and groom into that section I don't have to, to do that with all of them I could just focus on just that one and I think when I braided it I just might have missed a few hairs but I'm pressed for time and I think part of having braids is to save time I never thought I would be able to do a day two because I usually can't do a day two with any hairstyle at all ever I think that the loose hairs see how I have these loose hairs I think I just missed them when I did the braid to begin with and I think they're gonna stay loose because I'm going to take this out later and I'll come back on they have a term I'm learning so much vocabulary now called braid out so when you take your braids out the hair pattern that you get from it is called a braid out and uh, here's a picture of my braid out from the other day very interesting it does kind of look artificial doesn't it but that's my actual hair and I had the corn roll the one corn roll and then I had my my other braids I think I had nine I counted like nine braids including the corn roll so like about eight braids and then one corn roll when I took them all out um, there were differences because the part that had been corn rolled was different 
in a different pattern than the ones that had been um, just braided down. So that's it. I'm done. This is good enough for what I have to do today. And those free hairs are going to stay free. It's so hard, so hard to braid my hair and get like a really clean part and get all the hairs in it because my hair is so fine that it's hard to pick them all up. And um, I don't braid my hair tight and all that. I can't stand tight. I will get a sore spot. This sore spot back here finally gone. And how did I get rid of it? I just kept putting a, um, some raw aloe leaf on it. Just the actual leaf. Of course it's raw. Why did I say that? Instead, what I mean is um, some people use mixtures of, of aloe. And I'm just trying to say that I didn't use a mixture. I used the actual raw aloe leaf. It's not cooked. It's not mashed. It's not made into a formula, a paste, or anything like that. I literally cut open the leaf, put it back up, put it on the spot that's affected directly underneath the wig cap, and leave it like that until, I don't know, until, until. <laughs> that's it, until, until. Um, it feels nice and soothing and if you have a scalp issue the ALO really helps just like if you have a skin issue like if you have a breakout the ALO helps to heal that spot quickly and in my case whenever I have like a little acne flare up um, the ALO prevents me from getting any blemishes. That's why my skin is so clear. There's only a couple of spots where um, I'm affected by acne. I'm braiding my kitchen again because it just came out. And that's the thing about my hair. It does like unravel itself. So I know some people are using products to... Um, mold their hair more I don't really want to do more products I believe the products were part of the problem with my hair and I'm changing I'm middle age so I'm past all that anyway just gonna use the body lotion try to organize the hair and it's not gonna be really moist and I don't want my hair to be shrunken down from from the scalp because now I'm down to the scalp in which case it would really look I think messy this is good enough I'm done so now I can put my shirt on for the day and get going Okay, now we're ready to go. I added the mane and tail on last. And other than redoing everything from scratch, I don't think um, this is very bad. I think it would only be better if I redid it from scratch which I'm not going to do until later tonight. So two days is what I think I can get out of it. I know it'll look bad tomorrow because I really need to um, brush my waves. I have wavy hair. You can see it from the root. Some people ask me what I do to get waves. I do absolutely nothing. They're just there. They exist. And I just try to work with them as best as I can so they're not doing anything too crazy. But I really like how my hairline is coming in. 
I have so many different densities going on up here. But that's it. And we'll be back tonight when I do my braid out. We'll play around with the braid out. And then um, I'll show you the finished style of when I redo my braids. Have a great one. I don't believe it. Not for a minute. You're under the gun, so you take it on the road.